Good morning, this is Danielle Stern of the Nativia Bible Instruction Ministry, broadcasting now from Nativia, from our office in Jerusalem, with uh, the morning first uh, broadcast of the day. Um, the number of dead still stands at 300, but as mentioned, it will rise dramatically, in my unfortunate uh, estimate. Um, the wounded, last I heard, was at 1,860. Um, the hostages in the town of Be'eri have been freed. The hostages in Ofakim have been freed, the city of Ofakim. The police station in Shderot was uh, demolished by the police and the army, and the 10 terrorists that were in it have been neutralized. All these events happened, uh, the police station event concluded about five hours ago. So that is nearly over, nearly 24 hours from when yesterday's event started. Um, worth pointing out that the Hezbollah uh, did indeed fire mortars into Israel last night. Israel responded by firing at the places that the mortars were shot. And additionally, finally, 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 after months, uh, de bombed the tent in Israel territory that Hezbollah put up a few months ago in a, I don't know what, some uh, goading move and for reasons that are beyond me, was ignored for months. But anyways, um, President Joe Biden has stated multiple times that he warns anyone from getting involved and that he supports Israel. I am i haven't looked into the matter myself, but I've been told that it's uh, somewhat unique that the U.S. president and as many U.S. Uh, government officials weigh in on the matter, so I'm not, I suspect the reason is because, as we all know, Iran is uh, very involved in this attack. Yesterday, they took credit for uh, assisting in planning it. Um, as I mentioned, the Hamas said that they've been working on this for half a year, uh, which brings me to a very interesting point that I'd like to raise. So here we're going into the analysis side. Um, for months and months and months and even years, uh, the conception in Israel is if the, you, if the situ financial situation of the Palestinians gets better, then they will be interested in peace and they will, quote, uh, be good. And that uh, even we see this over the many months that the Qatari emissaries have brought suitcases of millions of dollars into the Gaza Strip, you know, in a roundabout way of Israel isn't giving money to terrorists, but the Qatari are, with our permission and even at our request. And that we're under the illusion that if we give them that money, they'll play nice. And even five days before yesterday, six days ago, the General Security Service, the Shabak, which is Israel's uh, version of the FBI, although also crossed with Homeland Security, it's an internal, the internal intelligence and security force, stated that uh, this is that it's working, that the Hamas is playing nice, that they didn't get involved in the riots in Rosh Hashanah, that all's good. We should keep giving them money. And that just goes to show how, um, what an illusion our, our intelligence and security forces have been under. Because this entire time, the Hamas has been planning this event. Another point of analysis is that there, nothing will be the same uh, in regard to its widespread in all, um, in every direction. I mean, you, the conception of Israel's invulnerability is, of course, uh, damaged. Um, the alliances that we've made with countries around us, our perception, the image of Israel is uh, damaged. 
uh, our reliance on our own security in the the cities around Gaza and not around Gaza. Some of the cities were quite a distance. Have been is how can people go back to live in their lives there again? Uh, on that note, uh, segue into another thing. The army has requested that quite a few of the settlements in the Western Galilee, Northern Western Galilee, near Lebanon, uh, people who are able to vacate do so. So that can be an indication of things to come. Um, additionally, hundreds of thousands of troops have been recruited um, for operations in the south and probably in other places as well. Uh, what else? What else? Um, uh, I recall reading somewhere that there is going to be a evacuation of um, some of the towns under uh, around Gaza as well. Speaking of Gaza, just to make it clear, there are still attempts to infiltrate Israel currently as we speak. There are still rockets being launched. Uh, about an hour ago, the Navy um, stopped an attempt to enter near the beaches of Gaza at a town at an area called Zikim. Uh, anyways, and also um, there was an attempt of many, many people advancing towards one of the points of the border between Israel and Jordan, which was turned back. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. Uh, the names of the dead are starting to appear. The list is long and terrible. Um, I, I skimmed over it this morning, which of course is inappropriate, and I will spend time on each and every one of them later. But the list is very long, very young, and very tragic. Um, my sister recognized uh, her sister-in-law as one of the people interviewed from the party, the nature party, out by Reim, uh, and, and uh, saw that she and her husband were at the party. The, the brother-in-law and sister-in-law of my sister, just to clarify. And they're safe, so praise God for that. But so many others are not. Um, yeah, what what will happen? So far, the military response has not been more than in any previous attack. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, yeah, there'll probably be a national unity government soon that will focus on the military matters. Currently, from my understanding, the impediment in such a government is that some of the left-wing parties, like Benny Gantz, um, insist that the overall decision-making be left to the army, which is obviously odd, because in most democratic countries, it is the government that makes the decisions and not the army. Anyways, God bless you all. Uh, keep praying for Israel. Keep praying for the IDF. Yehuda is out of communication for about the last 10 hours. He's serving. Nir has been called up. Pray for the IDF. Pray for the wounded. Pray for the families of the dead. Pray for the government. Pray for the hostages that have been, the prisoners of war that have been taken to Gaza. Women, children, elderly. I don't have confirmation, but I understand that an entire old folks home was taken to Gaza. Elderly people with their caregivers. Uh, this is inhumane. This is, uh, I can't even describe it. Anyways, pray, pray. God bless.